Do you guys rock black diamonds? Are you familiar with black diamonds or have any pieces with black diamonds? I personally don't. So I requested some black diamond pieces from Daniel Jewelry Inc. to actually have a real close look and understanding of how they may look different in different pieces and if it's something that I'll be interested in and maybe you. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can look at some black diamonds. I'm kind of a big deal. Blessed well, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Once again, shout out to my family over at Danny Jewelry Inc. for allowing my credit card to process these holds so I can make these videos. So they sent me over a couple of pieces that are black diamond based because I was curious to see in person, on hand, how I feel about black diamonds. Now, I don't know the whole history or chemical composition of black diamonds. I believe that some are mined naturally, but some are actually heat treated or some sort of treatment is applied to them to give them the color of black diamonds, but you know, you guys can Google that shit all day. I'm just a basic bitch jewelry reviewer that likes to look at shiny shit, like a monkey. So they sent over a couple of pieces and uh, these two pieces are definitely unisex as fuck. I don't know if I would personally wear them, but I'm half a bitch sometimes, so who fucking knows? So these are black diamond stretchable kind of bangles with stones all over the fronts of them and are actually very flexible. So made to just literally slide over the wrist like so, and you can stack them or whatever, or put them under or over a watch to kind of give them that, you know, tennis bracelet type look slash bangle situation. I'm sure these are more feminine than masculine, but then again, so are fucking tennis chains and every rapper's wearing 60 or 70 of them, including myself, who's a fake rapper. You wanna hear me spit bars? So this, I don't know, I'm kind of in between about it. I don't know how I personally feel about it, but here's a stupid comment that I'm gonna make, but I'm stupid. Always wondered if a black diamond is just gonna test as diamond. It's a black diamond. It's in the name, diamond. It should absolutely test as a diamond, but curiosity killed the cat, the testosterone is being charged, so I gotta use the presidium, and just for shits and giggles, like. Well, that answered my fucking question. Black diamonds test as diamonds. No shit. I don't know, I'm 50-50 on this. I don't know how I like it, but I do like what it's doing in the light, to be honest with you. Like the black facet look is actually taking any light around it and not providing it the sparkle shine, but providing a light, if that makes sense. So generally the white diamonds give that frosty bling, bling, bling sparkle look but black diamonds kind of give it this matte, dry brightness, if that makes any sense. Like it's catching the light easy, as you can see, but it's not so much a sparkle, it's more of a flash. It's kind of a just boom, as opposed to a diamond that's more kind of like, I mean, clearly it looks like I know sign language, but this next piece is blackdiamond.com. And if you're a football fan, especially in the Pittsburgh area, you don't fuck with this. Sometimes there's just pieces in jewelry that you ask yourself, why? Why did you make this? Why do you have this? Who's a big ass fan? Or was this a football player or a dude who thought he was gonna be in the NFL on this particular team that ended up not and going broke? This is a ridiculous Steelers helmet. It's literally about the size of my head in distance. It's covering, look, look at where my face is at and look at the size of this fucking thing. This shit is, it's why? Now it's an open back with a cage. I mean, why? Like, wh why? So it's black diamonds and other colored stones with the Steeler emblem on it. This is, this, I gotta put this on neck. First, let me just test it with the diamond tester. Again, dumb as fuck, cause obviously black diamonds test as diamonds. They test as diamond. How about the red stones though? There's red stones here. Nope. But there's light coming through, so there might be sapphires. These blue ones are shining as diamonds. These, what are this? What is this, yeah, white? I don't know, I don't watch sports, I'm fucking whack. Diamond, diamond, and I'm assuming this is a red sapphire. Now, this piece, I don't love it. I mean, it's just a big, ridiculous fucking piece. I'm gonna be clear and transparent. 
this must have been some sort of custom order or some shit like that with somebody with a, a budget like hey i have this amount of money to pay and then flaked on it and just left it there because there's been better detailed pieces that dji has made than this and then again i just don't fucking watch football or really give a fuck about a bunch of dudes huddling up and smacking each other on the ass while hugging on the floor it just doesn't do shit for me but i'm not a man's man so who cares i mean we got to put this shit on the chain because this 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 is gonna look ridiculous here this is a six millimeter from sixth and hill so this is a jet, uh, gold over silver piece that I'm gonna put on the, on here. And I chose the six in the hill because one of them is a gold zen and the gold zen lock isn't the best on this one, but this one is quite secure and I'm not trying to drop or have any issues happen to this heavy ass piece because guess whose credit card is on file? Neck profile! This is just, why? But you see what I'm saying in a piece this big? I don't get the sparkle factor. I get more of a flash, kind of a more boom, not bling, bling, bling. I do like how the black diamonds look on both of these pieces, but I feel they would be more of an accent stone. Like when you get a super frosty white piece and it just has no dimension, no depth, no layers. It's just a bunch of ice and you can't recognize what the fuck you're designing. I feel that a lot of shit gets lost in that mix. You gotta add a little color, you gotta add a little dimension, you gotta add some kind of depth to make it pop. Like art, like there's three dimensional and there's two dimensional, you wanna add something to have it pop. I feel like black diamonds are one of these pieces that, this one is more three dimensional type piece, but this would be something that if it were a full bust down white piece, you wanna add black diamonds to kinda add that layering of difference. I like how they shine, it's fucking shiny, dude. But I wouldn't, I fucking wouldn't wear this shit at all. But, oh, there's another piece here. Let me see what this is. Oh shit, is this real diamond? Hold on, it's a ring. But the description on it, in Spanish. So this is actually a black diamond and white diamond silver ring. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, it says plata and diamonds. So it's silver and diamonds. I mean, that must be fucking not too bad. This is more suited for like a pinky ring type situation. Not my style personally, but I can see how somebody would rock this shit, especially silver and diamonds, which is not something that I come across very often. And I want to get more into silver and diamonds to bring you guys content. Is this a price on it? Like 400 bucks? I don't know. Uh, this, fuck, silver and black diamonds. I mean, has a nice contrast of color. The silver looks really nice on it. I mean, pretty affordable for silver and fucking diamonds I just tested. I got my fix of black diamonds. I don't know how often I'll be using black diamonds, to be honest with you. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like black diamonds? Do you agree it's more of an accent type piece to add layering? Put your comments below. Shout out to Danny Jewelry Inc. If you're interested in any of these, you can fucking call them and purchase these shits. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Steelers fans, you're welcome. Smooches.